welcome to a quick introduction to Apache CouchDB. So what is CouchDB? CouchDB is a document-oriented database server. That simply means that CouchDB serves documents rather than traditional data in the form of rows and columns. Couch is also a web server. This allows Couch to serve all sorts of files. Couch is also an application server, which allows it to host applications known as Couch apps. CouchDB is built to be robust and highly scalable. Incremental replication is built in and is easily configurable. As one of many NoSQL databases, CouchDB offers an alternative to relational databases. What makes CouchDB unique is that it embraces web standards at every turn. REST and JSON are used throughout CouchDB. This offers some interesting use cases with regards to HTML5, JavaScript, and jQuery. Couch is used by a growing list of well-known companies and lots of early-stage startups. So who else uses CouchDB? Lots of people do. Here are just a few. Independent Facebook developers, mobile developers, bloggers, researchers, what? And Rastafarians? No, man. That's Rastafarians as in the devout practitioners of REST. The term REST is an acronym for Representational State Transfer. REST is a software architecture style and not something tied to HTTP. Couch was designed to make documents available via REST. In fact, Couch has an application programming interface that allows the creation, updating, retrieving, and deletion of documents. My god, it's full of crud! Okay, bad joke. Let's move on. It doesn't take a mental stretch to view a web server as a lightweight database with HTTP and REST forming the database API. CouchDB has a few more tricks up its sleeves. Couch allows documents to have attachments. So a design document can have attachments such as templates, HTML files, images, JavaScript files, and just about any other MIME type. This makes it possible to build entire applications using only a Couch instance and hosted website files. I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction. To learn more about CouchDB, visit the many links on the web and check out the videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching.